¿Qué tal inversionistas? ¿Cómo están? Soy Andrés Garza y el día de hoy estamos aquí en Wall Street. Vamos a preguntarle a la gente en qué invierte su dinero para ver qué cosas podemos aprender. Así que acompáñenme a verlo. Excuse me, sir. You want to be on a YouTube video about stocks? No worries. Excuse me, sir. You want to be on a YouTube video about stocks? No, but thank you. No worries. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. You want to be on a YouTube video about investing in the stock market? Excuse me, sir. You want to be on a video about stocks? No worries. Excuse me, sir. Do you invest on the stock market? Or do you want to be on a YouTube video? <laughs> no worries. Excuse me, sir. Do you invest in the stock market? Somebody? Do you invest in the stock market? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? You work yes, here sir. on Wall Street? Huh? You work here on Wall Street? I work here, yes. Really? What's the best investing advice you can give to these young guys? We have a YouTube channel about 2 million subscribers yeah. on finance. Start, start early. Start, start early. Invest in what you know. Invest in what you like. And buy it. You think right now is a great moment to start to invest in the stock market? Uh, well, there's never a great moment, but if you look at history, um, things always go up and come down. So if you look at it over time, it's a really good investment. And what's the best investment strategy for people who are just starting out? Well, educate yourself. You can't just jump into anything. That's just in anything in life, right? So you just want to always educate yourself, uh, follow people that know what they're doing, and try to, you know, circle yourself around people that have that same interest and you can guys can be successful together. Excuse me, sir. Do you invest in the stock market? I'm making a joke. Sure, no, no worries. Está poniendo un poquito complicado. Cada vez está pasando menos gente. Tenemos una buena entrevista. Quiero conseguir más personas antes de que se acabe el día. Excuse me, sir. Do you invest in the stock market? No? No? Excuse me, guys. Do you invest in the stock market? Want to be on a YouTube video about stocks? Sorry. Español. Yo hablo español. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, sir. Do you invest in the stock market? Well, no, be in a YouTube video. No worries. Se está poniendo un poco complicado y creo que la gente no está conectando tanto conmigo. Así que es tiempo de hacer un cambio. Vamos a hacerlo. Acabamos de comprar un traje exclusivamente para grabar el mismo video de hoy, pero mañana para intentar tener un poquito más de suerte. Bien se dice que como te ven, te tratan, entonces vamos a ver si eso es real aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York y para que podamos obtener mejores conocimientos. Es muy importante que sepamos que nuestro valor no se define por lo que traemos puesto, pero sí hay que aumentar nuestras probabilidades de tener éxito. Así que nos vemos mañana con las nuevas entrevistas aquí en Wall Street. Y bueno, hicimos unos pequeños cambios solamente para ver qué tanto impacta esto en cómo nos trata la gente. Vamos a ver si tenemos un poquito más de suerte para saber un poquito más sobre inversiones. Ok, so, I mean, what do you think is the best investment any young man can do for, if they want to start here in the city? Hard to say, unless, unless you get job, you very hard to live here. Okay. I think it's uh, investment, I don't know, if you have money, you can invest in something, but uh, apartment or something, but I don't know right now, it's very hard to say. Yeah, and for a lot of people living going to suburban or south or Florida or you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. it's a hard city. Yeah. I mean, what's the best investment advice you had here on Wall Street? Best investment advice I've had? Oh, you have to pay for that. Sorry. <laughs> nice one. Do you invest in uh, your money in something? Uh, I used to invest my money in crypto zoo, but not anymore. Why not? I got scammed. By Logan Paul? By Logan Paul. What did you believe was the best investment any young man can do in any kind of asset? It doesn't have to be stocks or something like that. You need capital in order to invest in real estate, but real estate is a very good way of making a lot of money in a very short amount of time because the property itself is being sought after by people either to live or for them to invest 
So if you happen to have a way where you are selling properties, that's a very good income, that's a very good livelihood. Do you invest in the stock market by any, any no, means? No, I'm very skeptical of it. You know, I'm an investigative science journalist. So what I do is look into big corporations that are uh, destroying the planet. Capital Inteligente. What is it? Capital Inteligente. I'm a YouTuber. Oh, you do YouTube? But I got TikTok, Sigmail on TikTok. Let's see, I'll type it in so I don't forget. You wanna be on, you wanna be on channel? Uh, I mean, you can put me on. I have to run to a meeting. Like, I would do it, but... Okay. Well, you can shoot me. My name Andres Garza. Excuse me, sir. What's the best investment advice you can find here on Wall Street? Buy the dip, short the VIX, and f*** Bitcoin. What do you recommend about uh, having a budget here in New York City? Yeah, you know, you just, you gotta, um, we say, like, be a scrapper, right? You know, maybe many different jobs. There's a lot of ways that you can live for free or cheaply in this city. But right now, how did you try to invest your money looking for new investments? Now, since they're scammers, you got to become one. So I became a scammer and now I get, that's how I get my money. Do you invest in the stock market by any casualty here in New York? What do you mean? Like invest in stocks? Yeah, we, we have, yeah, but my, my problem is right now inflation and my apartment is 40% uh, up yeah, for sure. rent. That's my problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do you got any tips like for savings to, to start people? Like, I mean, you have to have capital to invest in real estate or anything. How do you start making your savings? You need two bank accounts. One is a checking account. In this checking account, you will have a certain income come into the account that would come from job or supplements from your parents. Then you'll also have a savings account so that you would be able to see your money safe, saved, and grow as you continue to put whatever extra money you have outside of living expenses into that savings account. What's a good way to make a budget here in New York City? Like for example, how to manage your income? I personally would say the one thing. So I'm still soliciting of any kind on Brookfield property. You would need permission from the property management to do that here. Okay. Just last, the last thing I guess you're going to answer to, to him, lower your expectation. That was will be my first advice to young people. Okay. What's the best investment any young man can do, like for news? I would say set a realistic goal for yourself, something that is achievable in a short time frame. Uh, be regimented, disciplined about meeting it. Uh, because even though it may not be the biggest goal, if you can achieve a certain level of savings or a certain level of return, it'll give you a sense of confidence to know that you can sort of push for a next goal and a next goal and a next goal. From a personal finance standpoint, I think, you know, that's, you know, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. You don't want to necessarily always shoot for the moon, but, you know, do something that'll give you a confidence boost um, and show you that you can actually achieve something, even if it's small. Uh, any good advice you want to tell people for the camera, something like um, they, you want them to know? to keep good in life? Yes, I want you guys to invest in super cool, awesome money. That is my business. Okay. Invest in that. That's your business? Yes. That what is it's about? S-C-A-M. Okay. Super cool, awesome money. Okay, and you do what investments? So, but, yeah, okay. investments, a lot of investments. If you don't actually invest in the stock market, well, how do you manage uh, your money? I mean, what do you do with it? How do you oh, invest yeah. in yourself and all this stuff? Good question. I mean, most people that I know in this country do not make enough money to consider investing it. You know, I'm a journalist, we're scrapping by, teachers, you know, we make enough money, we enjoy our profession, we love what we do, but we're not like pulling in extra money and then having it to throw around. So that's a world that's totally foreign to me and, uh, and most of my colleagues. Okay. What's the best investment or finance advice you have ever received? You can do without certain things in your life if you manage to find a way to cut down on your life expenses to where you just survive and you don't necessarily spend a lot of money on luxury then you are actually making money you are actually saving money and making money because you know what it would take for you to survive without going over and then using money in a way that is not very good depending on your financial situation. Yeah, that's right, that's called lifestyle inflation. They say like people who are richer are not the ones that they have most, but the ones that need less. So 
Thank you so much for your advice. What's your investment strategy for now, now on? Do you invest like uh, for stocks, ETFs, crypto, just crypto? So right now, not crypto too much. Uh, now what we do is we do NFTs. Okay. We do this, like we take a picture of somebody like that and then we sell it online. Okay. So NFTs get into that. Okay. Finally, what do you think what was the best investment you made? Like for example, maybe your career or something? Oh, yeah, it's a good question, yeah. So I do have an answer to this. We don't live in the city anymore. My girlfriend, who's a designer, dressmaker, we live up in the country, and we couldn't really afford like to buy a house. We found land for really cheap, kind of in a marsh. No one wants that land. So it's like, what do we live in? And we got an RV. Okay. It was a really cheap investment from the 90s, so like 30 years old, and it's amazing. Do you think right now is a good place to start investing in the stock market? Like right now, the moment right now? At the moment? Oh, dude, that's like guessing the weather next week. I think, well, if I were to speak to a young person, I would say there's always it's always best to start when you're young. You know, maybe if you don't have the best sense of the market at the moment, try to be a little bit more risk averse. But when you start developing your own theses and uh, have something that you want to test out for yourself, I mean, go for it. Obviously, never put yourself in a position where you're um, at more risk than you can afford. I think that message should be true at all times but yes. uh, as far as if you're a young person definitely get involved young get involved early you'll take losses you'll make mistakes but you learn from them and it's better to do that when you're young that's so, awesome sir yeah what was your name Andres Garza it was nice meeting you man thank you be man. safe out here very nice to meet you thanks so much y bueno, así terminamos el día en la ciudad de Nueva York, en Wall Street. No les voy a mentir, fue un poco más difícil de lo que pensé que sería. Aún y trayendo el traje, recibimos muchos rechazos, pero también muy buenos aprendizajes. Les voy a dejar por aquí el link de un nuevo video que tienen que seguir viendo. Y nos vemos próximamente en un nuevo video. Chao.